So this happened to my family in early 2002, when my daughter was a baby. My wife and I moved into a new house right after our daughter was born. It was a nice place in the suburbs. I would rather not mention in what city. The house was relatively new and surrounded by other houses with the same exact design and layout. We were still getting used to our new life there when one night we heard the baby crying on the baby monitor. We were watching a movie in the living room, paused it, and went into the baby's room. The baby wanted her bottle. I stood in the doorway of the room while my wife tended to our newborn. I was smiling at the sight of this, when suddenly my wife made a small sound of fear and surprise. She was looking out the window directly beside the crib. I walked over to her and she didn't say anything. I looked outside and saw a woman that looked to be our age standing on our lawn and looking into the bedroom window. I went into protective mode and immediately walked out of the room and towards the front door with the intention of confronting her. My wife shouted before I could open the door. Oh my God, she ran away. I ripped the door open and walked outside. I looked around the front of our house and walked a bit further onto the street, looking in both directions. No sign of her. I decided to walk around my whole house to make sure this creepy lady had left. I walked to the perimeter of our house and didn't find her. I came back inside the house to find my wife still holding the baby in our master bedroom and told her I hadn't seen her. After a little while of being creeped out and looking out the windows to make sure she wasn't still lingering around, we decided she was gone for good and went to sleep. The next day, we saw the woman again, this time at night. And this time, my wife was in the shower and I was holding our baby in her bedroom. I saw the woman standing in the same spot on our lawn, peering into the bedroom at me holding my baby. I just looked at her for the longest time and she didn't move. My wife eventually walked into the room with a towel in her hair and approached me from behind giving me a hug. I said, she's back, look, the crazy bitch is just standing there looking at me. My wife got incredibly creeped out at this point and insisted that we call the police. I was going to, but felt I wanted to confront her again. So I walked out of the room and opened up the front door which was only about 10 feet away from the baby's room. I walked outside and the woman was still there. She turned to me. I walked out onto our lawn, about 20 feet away from her and said, what the fuck are you doing? If you don't leave right now, I'm calling the cops and if I ever see you around here again, I will call them immediately. The woman smiled at me and then opened her mouth wide and let out a nightmare-inducing scream that sounded as if she was in pain. I knew right away that this woman was ill, like in the head. She turned around and ran away. This was terrifying as I realized she was barefoot. She ran away like a little kid would, arms flailing. I went inside and my wife was already holding the phone. I agreed with her that we should call anyways and we did. A couple police officers came by the house a short while later and they said there was really nothing they could do except drive around the neighborhood a few times and keep an eye out for her. They said they would call us if they saw her. About 20 minutes after they left, they called and said they didn't see anyone fitting her description. We were disappointed, but eventually went to sleep after taking turns looking out the windows for hours. I had assumed the woman got the hint. A month had passed with no sign of her. Then, one night, my wife and I were in bed when I heard a noise. I awoke and glanced at the alarm clock. It read 3.48 a.m. I listened for the noise to continue and heard giggling coming from the baby monitor. I sat up in bed and my heart stopped. I flew out of the room and into my baby's room to see nothing. My baby was asleep and my wife had followed me. I was very confused for a moment and thought I didn't actually hear anything Maybe it was a nightmare. My wife asked what was wrong. I didn't respond for a few seconds and then finally said, nothing. I, I thought I heard something. We both sighed and walked back to our room. My wife went into the room first and upon entering, screamed and then threw herself backwards into me. I gasped and almost fell backwards onto the floor. My wife started repeating, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. My heart pounding, I replied, what, what? I forced my way past her and walked into my bedroom. The woman was sitting Indian style on our bed. I backed up out of the room and slammed the door. My wife ran and took our baby from her crib 
and the three of us went outside. As I was closing the front door once we had walked out, I heard our master bedroom door open. Neither of us had our cell phones on us, so we ran to our neighbor's house and started frantically knocking on their front door. They answered very quickly and asked what was the matter. We explained and they ushered us inside and called the police. The cops showed up minutes later and they went inside our house. The woman was still in there. They said they found her upstairs, sitting in the middle of the hallway in the dark. This happened at my house when I was about 11 years old. This one day, I believe I was playing video games when I heard a knock at the door. My parents were in their room talking and I ran to the door looking through the window next to it to see who it was. It was a police officer. I thought that was kind of cool, not realizing something could be wrong, and opened up. We had a metal screen that was locked. The police officer first said, Hi there, are your parents home? I told him yes. He responded with, Are you sure? There aren't any cars in the driveway or out front. Can you open the screen so I can talk to you? I said back, Uh, yeah, they are here. Their cars are parked in the garage. One second. I then yelled out, Dad! And my dad replied, What? I walked over to their bedroom door and told them a policeman was at the door. My dad looked concerned and got up. He walked over to the front door and the police officer was now gone. My dad looked at me confused and said, A cop was at the door? He then unlocked the screen and walked outside. I stayed in the house and my dad walked back in a few seconds later. What did he say? Are you sure it was a cop? I replied, Yeah, he was wearing the outfit. Uh, he asked if you or mom were here. My dad shrugged and said, Weird. He didn't say anything else? Did he say something was wrong? I shook my head no. I went to the couch and resumed my video game. A few days later, another police officer came to our house. This time, my dad answered. The cop said to my dad, Hello sir, sorry to bother you, but we've had some calls from people on this street claiming a man came to their door dressed as a police officer. Did he by any chance come by your house? My dad told them what happened a few days previous and then the cops hit my dad with a bombshell. They said that the man was not a cop at all, but a man pretending to be one, trying to locate children who were home alone. I have a story I'd like to tell you all. This happened when I was 18, about 16 years ago. I was still living with my parents in their nice house in Colorado. It was getting late one night, around 11.30. I was on the phone with my girlfriend and had decided to go up to my room and switch phones using the one that was in my room so I didn't wake my parents that I assumed were now in bed. Voices downstairs echoed upstairs easily and I had gotten in trouble for that a few times before. I told my girlfriend to hang on that I was going to put the phone down for a minute while I went upstairs to turn on my phone. I set the phone down on the counter right next to where it hangs up on the wall. I quickly walked upstairs and into my bedroom. My room was cold. I left the window open. I slammed my window shut and picked up the phone next to my bed. All right, babe, one sec. I'm gonna go downstairs real fast and hang up the living room phone. I sat the phone down on my bed and went downstairs. I reached the last step, turned left, and stopped. The phone was now hung up on the wall. I stood there for about 30 seconds, bewildered, a bit creeped out, and a bit confused. Maybe my parents came down and hung it up? No, that wasn't possible. I would have heard them, and I was only upstairs for about 30 seconds. I walked over to the phone and then turned around, looking around the living room and into the kitchen. Nothing, no sign of my parents. Nobody else was in my house that night. I convinced myself that I must have hung it up before I went upstairs. Wait, no. That's not possible, then I would have hung up on my girlfriend. I walked into the dining room and nobody was there. I walked back upstairs and over to my parents' bedroom. I pressed my ear to the door and I could hear my dad snoring. What the hell? I walked into my bedroom and almost had a heart attack when I saw that my bedroom phone was now hung up. 
I turned around fast to the dark hallway. Nobody. I ran downstairs into my horror. I saw the phone in the living room was gone. I got goosebumps all over my body and my heart was now pounding out of my chest. I ran back upstairs and into my room. I ripped open my closet but nobody was there. I walked over to my phone and picked it up. As soon as I did this I heard somebody say, I came in through your bedroom window. I almost dropped the phone out of fright and thought, what the fuck, that's not possible. My bedroom is on the second story. I turned around again expecting to see someone, but did not. I turned and opened my window. I looked out and saw a large extension ladder there, leaning on my house just below the bottom of my window. I dropped the phone on the ground and ran to my parents' room. I slammed against their door with my fists and yelled, Open the door! There is somebody in the house! My mom opened up and was confused with a terrified look on her face. I went into their room and my dad was sitting up in bed. I locked their bedroom door and repeated myself. There is someone in here. They have the phone. They just said something to me. My mom ran to my dad's side of the bed and grabbed his work cell phone that was still in his jeans pocket. She called the police and they were at our front door knocking about 15 minutes later. They searched the house and found no one. They did find the living room phone though. It was laying in the middle of the grass in our backyard.